Hello and welcome to another video of Cafe SP. Uh, that's the Twitter account. If you guys have any questions on this video, or leave me a comment on YouTube. Uh, this video is about uh, the uh, weather alerts. Um, recently, a lot of tornadoes and hurricanes and flash floods and all those warnings have come up on this part of the country. So I need something that will let me know what's going on for my location. So I have this little AMP Windows application that it will tell you what the alert is for or for your location. And the last time it was updated and how many alerts you got for your location. So the first thing you need to do on this demo, for example, is go to the settings options and tap up your zip code, save it, then close this uh, Windows app form and then all you do is get update so we'll wait a second so as you can see I got a little pop-up down here uh, and it says no alerts so far and it's talking about uh, Shelby County in Texas USA so as you can see it's working Tell me when was the update and no alert so far. So what I'm gonna do is change the zip code so we can see how this uh, tree view down here tells you the details. So what I'm gonna do is I went into this other weather uh, website and they have an uh, uh, have an alert over here. So flash flood warning. So I'm going to use that zip code 12765 and save it over here and then try to get the alerts from that location and it's giving me no alerts so let me find a, that probably is an O alert so let me check it so I think I just found one uh, it's hard to find alerts by zip code that you don't live in so as you can see I got a pop-up saying alerts to and it tells me the zip code that I type in and as you can see I got two and I have losing the trip view to populate this guy and as you can see I got the first one is a high surf and recurrent statement so whatever the weather uh, I guess office types up that's what you get here and obviously this demo you can take it uh, to the next step is to have a timer so close it out so as you can see here I have a timer that I'm working on so every five minutes I'll just have it run and it will get me uh, the alerts or any alerts that come up every five minutes or whatever so there's more you can do on this by adding settings like how much or when to check for uh, alerts but this is how I did it so the first thing you need to do is get to I'm using the API from go here to weather bug so I'm using weather bug API uh, we'll just pick it up here. There we go. So I went. What I did, I went to personal, and all you need to do is fill this form. And you get an email, and you, then you get the the API number that you need for your application. So here's the code. I'm gonna collapse this guys. So when the form loads, I'm not doing anything, but obviously I'm checking if, it, if the settings or the zip code has been saved. So for that, I have a different uh, form just to take in and save and just grab the text box value and make sure you do that save. If not, you'll lose your settings when you close your program. So that's really basic. The next thing you do is click this guy 
and here I'm just checking that make sure that the zip code is not no or empty then I go ahead and do get data and this data it's right here and as you can see I'm using an XML document object but first of all I'm submitting a, uh, I'm building this uh, URL that will take your A code uh, which is the API key you're gonna get once you send the form you'll get the A code after that what I'm doing is sending the zip code as you can see that's how you submit it and then you pass it on to the load event and the XML document is going to go grab the whole XML from uh, weather bug yeah weather bug that's the name then after that all you do is to navigate through your XML document and first of all I'm just getting the channel um, from there I can grab on my channel I can grab the title then I can say well before I do anything else if I'll just grab the item there's an item uh, uh, node on that XML document and here I'm just checking uh, if usually or most of the time I haven't confirmed it yet but if it start with no alerts that means there's nothing else there's nothing happening so you don't need to do none of this so, but if it's not, then you'll get in. You need to select uh, this guy, the weather, AWS weather. Then you go down to alerts, and then as you can see, I'm checking the account, and then I'm just putting on the label, and then here I get a list of alerts. Uh, and as you can see here, I'm starting to begin the update on the tree view, which is this guy and then the root is going to be alert and under that then I loop through the items to the alert and as you can see I'm grabbing the type and the title so this is just for the console but here is the tree view where it's getting the value from the inner text from that from the type same thing for, uh, with the title as you can see I'm submitting here you need to submit the XML namespace manager if not it will give you an error so make sure you have this guy which is over here so you do add namespace AWS and this is the URL you need to add from then then you can start selecting nodes if not it's not gonna work uh, same thing with Yahoo weather API but theirs is a little bit different but you still need to use the namespace manager uh, here I'm just counting down as it loops it will add you know zero or into the one and so forth so on then I finish updating the weather the trivia alert trivia and if nothing's happening then I will just say something no alert so far and that's it after that all I do is right here is save the notify icon right this guy I just say okay show the alerts and the count the title and show it for I think this is a timeout it will just pass one it will be good and that's it and if nothing else is on this zip code it will just pop up saying hey enter save your zip code under settings part so hopefully that was a good uh, example or demo how you can do your own uh, web application I'm sorry a Windows form application and if you have any questions either go to the Facebook page on facebook.com C sharp nerd or you can find me on on YouTube dot com user slash uh, video code 2 and leave me a comment thank you for watching